Hey, welcome back. Another day, another episode. This is not a podcast. It's just my thoughts for Rob Markman. So today, Eminem dropped the audio for Toby, his new single off of that Death of Slim Shady album. The album's coming out July 12th. So Toby features Big Sean and Baby Tron. So it's Eminem featuring Big Sean and Baby Tron. Um, Toby, right off the bat, Referencing Tobey Maguire, the, the actor who plays Spider-Man famously, of course. So, if y'all follow this channel, this is right up my alley, right? Comic books and rap. Like, and, you know, so I'm here for it. And all the MCs are from Detroit. So, you know, shout out to M for, for putting on for his city again. But, so, yeah. Spider-Man. You know, um, the hook is, is Tobey Maguire got bit by a spider, but see, me, it was a goat. Um, and that's Baby Tron doing the hook. Told me we'll go. I got bit by a spider, but see me, it was a goat. So I didn't get bit by a spider. I got bit by a goat. I'm a goat. I'm going to wrap my ass off. That sets up the whole premise for the song, right? Um, and I wonder if Baby Tron wrote the hook. It seems like he wrote the hook because he performs the hook. So it seems like he wrote the hook because it's funny to me and it's dope how Sean and M built their verses off of the premise of that line. Everybody takes their own, um, take on that line their own take of them being the goat so it's kind of cool that baby tron being the young dude the new generation of detroit gets an opportunity not just to be on this track but in a lot of ways he leads the track right and you know that m gave a young dude a shot sean gave you know young dude a shot like i think that's dope um i'm not a huge baby tron fan i'm gonna be honest like i'm not like super familiar with his catalog we had him up at genius definitely know some of the joints definitely know you know he has that new detroit style right where it's just like this very conversational way of rapping he does interesting things the the bars a lot of times sit on top of one another and it's almost like he's talking to us but it's almost like he's talking to himself when he raps and that that's kind of been his style and you know that that's true to form here but i admit that i don't listen to a lot of him so i ask y'all i want to know you know he had a dope verse but to me he sounded closer he sounded like big sean a bit, you know what I'm saying? Like vocally, tonally, you know, I know Baby Tron is his own thing, but but he sounded like Sean, like their voices, like I I just never realized how, how much their voices blend together. And on this song hearing them do verses back to back, I'm like, oh, these guys sound kind of similar. And I wonder if that's just on this track or if this is how Tron has always sounded, you know, just interesting. So if you know, if you have insight, let me know. Like I'm I'm not accusing nobody of nothing i'm saying i truly don't know um but i thought that was interesting how close um him and sean sounded on this track you know i'm here for the nerd bars you know what i'm saying again comic books and rap so even when baby tron is like um my city is lay i'm obi-wan got a mission to pass i might just be the hope just a whole star wars scheme there you know obi-wan you're all you know the hope, you know, whatever the new the new hope right was 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 the first star wars was actually episode four so you know, like, damn, some Star Wars, some Spider-Man shit. And, like, you know, I could get into this. Um, Sean's verse was dope. Like, you know, I'll probably skip over Sean's verse. I'm not going to do a whole lyric breakdown. But Sean, Sean's verse is dope. Sean, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Sean does this year. Hopefully it comes this year. You know, he had dropped a single earlier in the year. You know, I, I kind of felt like he got lost. He was one of the victims of the whole Kendrick Drake, J. Cole, um, thing at the very beginning of that that beef sean was gearing up to drop new music and i think everybody had to get out the way once that thing took form right and sean dropped the single um with sean you're always just gonna get bars he's always gonna rap but it just felt like it didn't get the light it didn't get the breath it was supposed to because all of hip-hop's attention was really focused on what kendrick and drake and cole was doing and then you know cole bowed out we know the story and then kendrick and drake went at it and, you know, now that the dust has settled on that, I think we're just going to get back to regular releases. So it'll be interesting to see where Sean goes from here. Um, but I want to get into M's verse, right? Again, this whole thing is about um, being the GOAT. And I'm not going to break down every line. We're going to make this video kind of short. But, you know, it's just M, again, staking his claim at, as one of the greatest of rap. And, and it's tough because... Like, I can personally admit on my top five, M is not on my personal top five artists. You know what I'm saying? MCs. Um, and, and just to reiterate, is um, Jay-Z is at the top for me. Um, Nas, Big, 
some days is big and nines. You know, sometimes I flip flop the two in terms of order, but just five is J, Nas, Big. Um, I put Pac in that top five for myself. Um, and personally, just personally, like, I always put Scarface in that that spot, but I mean it might be recency bias. I think I think Kendrick is up there for me. I think Lil Wayne is up there for me. Like that five spot is kind of rotating. Like Scarface, Kendrick, Lil Wayne. Um, it's a lot. It's tough, man. My top five changes all the time, so don't. But but Jay is a constant. Nas is a constant. Big is a constant. Pac is a constant. Um, M doesn't really crack the top five, and at the same time though. I could recognize how dope M is. I like M is just incredible. You know what I'm saying? Like, like lyrically, like I, I, you just can't deny it. So M always seems to get the short end of the stick, right? Or, or it always feels like an underdog. Like obviously he has the stands, the fan base who support him and everything he does. So he's super successful. But I think outside of the core fan base, like where he fits on that list goes up and down depending on on who's talking, right? So. He's addressing exactly this um, on 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 the verse. He says, ain't feeling your top five favorite rappers. So I know they're about to be pissed at me. But this to me is a mystery. How rappers I've already ripped could be high up on the list than me. That's kind of crazy. But that's how an MC is supposed to feel, right? He's not supposed to feel like number 10. He shouldn't feel like even number five. Like M has to feel like he's number one. This is how MC is supposed to feel. So is M speaking in blanket terms or or is it more specific? Jay-Z is often um, in most top five conversations. And then him and M, you know, he's my number one, right? So him and M were on Renegade together. And there's always been that debate since Nas said it on Ether. Eminem murdered you on your own shit. You know, um, did M outrap Jay on Renegade? A lot of people will argue yes. Like for me, I just think they approached it different. M's wordplay on it was crazy, but but Jay Jay's vert like Jay doesn't have a whack verse on it. He like Jay is talking like M is speaking of his reality about you know him getting banned and and the things that they say about Eminem and and the boycotts and and Jay is talking to the critics of the magazines. You know how could you relate to? music that thugs with nothing relate to it. I help them see their way through it, not you. Like they just came from from different angles. I, I think it's an incredible track. But yeah, one can argue that Eminem murdered you on your own shit. Fine. So M is like, all right, if I murdered Jay, why why is he on the list higher than me, right? Nas is in my top five. M was on his EPMD two joint on King's Disease Two. Again, M just goes crazy. Biggie's in my top five. M did a verse on Dead Wrong, which was released posthumously. Dead Dead Wrong is, is probably one of my least favorite Biggie joints, too, by the way. And I love Big. I, I just don't love that joint. M has rapped with Wayne. So, you know, everybody that could be in your top five, M has rapped with and arguably rapped better than. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why this bar is, is like dope because it makes you think, yo, is he talking about somebody specific? Ultimately, I don't think there's a specific shot at anyone. Like, like I know I brought up Jay, I brought up Nas, Big Past, of course. Um, you know, he has a lot of joints with Wayne. Like, there's a lot of examples you could pull from. But personally, I, I don't know that this is a specific shot at anyone. I don't think any of the guys that I mentioned take this as a shot. Again, this is just how an MC is supposed to feel. And when you're as great as them, it poses a good question. I think it's a good conversation for us to have, for fans to have. But nothing comes of this. This is just one of the best MCs beating his chest and saying, nah, I'm, the, I'm not one of the best. I'm the best. You know, I'm saying he's one of the best. He's saying, nah, I'm the best. And that's what he's supposed to say. You know what I'm saying? But then he goes off when he says, too, yet yeah, here I sit on your list at five, which still was fine. But just no inside to me, that's hilarious. So when I get this, though, but and by a pioneer who was one of the reasons why I'm here, they tell me I should just let that shit go and slide. Melly Mel should get no reply. That man is a legend. Bitch, so am I. Um, he's talking about the... The Billboard, the top five list, right? Billboard did a um, the top fifty rapper list, right? Um, let me just Google this real quick. I should have Googled this before. Top fifty rappers list. M was in the top five, um, but let me just damn. Let me just pull this up. Okay, so Billboard's top fifty rapper list was Jay Z at number one. Kendrick Lamar at number two, Nas at number three, Tupac at number four, Eminem at number five, Big at number six. 
Mm. So, you know, M, again, like, so he's talking directly to Billboard now. Yeah, here I sit on your list, though, at five, which still was fine, but just no inside to me, that's so hilarious. So when I get dissed, though, and by a pioneer who was one of the reasons why I'm here, they tell me I should just let that shit go and slide. First of all, the rhyme shit is crazy. Like, you know, get dissed, though, let that shit go, you know, um, but let that shit go and slide. Melly Mel shouldn't get no reply. That man's a legend, so bitch, show him I. So, you know, what he's talking about is, you know, Melly Mel commented in the interview on Eminem being number five on the list. And, you know, Melly said, um, if you were talking about rhyme style, okay, he got a rhyme style, but he's white. He's white. And, you know, Mel just kept emphasizing that he's white. He questioned, he went on to question, if M was black, would he be as highly regarded? Um and then Eminem dissed Melly Mel on The Realist um, in 2023. Mel responded on Kickback shortly after that. The Melly Mel track didn't get a good response. It wasn't a great response. It, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? But Mel issued a statement after that where he said, um, in the light of the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, my original intention was to contribute an engaging and an enjoyable endeavor to enrich the cultural landscape. Regrettably, my response fell short in its execution, and I accept full responsibility for the misjudgment. Grown man shit. He says, I acknowledge that my perspective was ill-conceived, and I'm prepared to take ownership of this oversight. It has become evident that Eminem's dedicated and passionate fan base stands unwaveringly by his side which is a testament to their genuine admiration and loyalty a truly commendable aspect from the onset i have consistently recognized eminem's exceptional prowess as an mc without reservation my unfortunate choice of words suggesting that his success is solely attributed to the color of his skin was in no way reflective of my genuine beliefs it was an attempt albeit misguided to engage competitively within the mc sphere um, so, you know, I think that, I think that was honest of him. It, you know, here's the thing, man. If we're being real, Eminem being white has absolutely played into his success, into the mega stardom that he has. And, and, and that's not a reflection on M. I just think that's the world we live in, right? Like, like we, we, in a perfect world, race isn't a thing. Race is man-made, race is, the, but, oh my God, so much in this world is, is judged on race. Eminem being white has absolutely played into his, into his overwhelming success. Like, I think we could agree. I, I think M would agree, has played a role in it, right? But as an MC, I can never question the work that dude has put into his craft, the natural ability that he has, and, and the decades and decades and decades and decades and decades, well, that was like four, right? He's not that old, but you know, from the 90s to the 2000s, like just the work that he's put into his craft, right? Um, I can never question that. The work that he puts into his pen, um, the way he pushes boundaries, again, and, and, and y'all know this, like I rap, I make music, like putting words together is my thing. So even Eminem songs that might not be my favorite or I don't feel like, I'll just look at the rhyme scheme and marvel, you know what I'm saying, from the technician, the technical ability. So sometimes, yeah, the songs may not hit me here, but then the very technical ability is like, oh, shit, did you see what he did? I mean, he's one of those ones. When we In the last one, I was talking about Lupe. I was talking about top-tier MCs, like elite pens, and he, he's one of those ones as well. He's in that Jedi category. Um, but, you know... I'm not mad at these bars, man. Melly Mel should get no reply. That man is a legend. Truth. Melly Mel's a legend, man. That man should get no reply. That man's a legend. Bitch, so am I. <laughs> so it's just M as an MC standing up for himself. Like, that shit is cool to me. Like, this is what he's supposed to say. This is how he's supposed to feel. This is how you're supposed to rap. Um, I'm still very interested in how this album unfolds. You know, I... I don't know if I heard, I think there's more in store in this Def Slim Shady album. I think this is just like warming us up. Like, but I, I, I'm really hoping that I hear the, the thing that really hits me right here, you know what I'm saying, in my heart or whatever. But I like this rhyme and I like this competitive rhyme and I like him standing up for himself. But that's just my thoughts on the matter. Y'all already know that's the name of the show. But let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment. You know I'll be in the comments with you. All right? Peace.